Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Wednesday, November 1st. I'm Joseph Luisi, and welcome to WCTZ News. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Starting off with clubs, club photos will be taken after school today in the gym from 2.15 until approximately 3.30. The senior class will be holding a fundraiser at Jersey Mike's on Hibiscus in Melbourne today from 4 to 8 p.m. Senior class will get 15% of all sales during the at time. The soccer program will be hosting a blue and silver game this Friday at 6 p.m. Come out and see both men's and women's soccer teams compete in an exhibition match. Tickets will be $2 for students and $4 for adults at the gate. Moving on to sports, here's Sean Humphrey with a segment regarding women's soccer. While the sun may be out now, it isn't several times a week when the girls varsity soccer team is out here practicing. Due to these early morning practices, athletes who dual enroll will now be forced to make an extra trip from West Shore to Eastern Florida State College. Because I have to pack everything the night before and then like quickly get everything together in the morning and go here and then leave here really early to shower and stuff and then rush like with traffic to EFSC. So it's just kind of stressful. Some who play multiple sports, however, are more optimistic toward the change. Personally, I prefer morning practices because you get to go home like right after school, and I haven't done that in a while because of volleyball, so it's kind of nice to go after school. And like once you're up, personally, I just you're, I'm not really tired after that because you just, you just get used to it. So it's kind of nice. This has been Sean Humphrey reporting for WCTZ News. Now for... Pardon the interruption, it is now November. Many things have happened in the world of Joe... Sports! Sports, exactly. That's S-P-O-R-T-S right here. Connor Horn for a second straight week. Don't get too comfortable in that chair. I won't. <laughs> okay, not so enthusiastic, but you know why I'm enthusiastic? You know why I'm hyped? Why? I had a hamburger and a hot dog at the game last night. Mm. Girls soccer preseason game in which we won five to nothing because we're just that good. We're too good. We won five to nothing. There were some good goals that night. Uh, junior uh, Sam Intelli had a uh, banger from midfield. What's thoughts on that? I was filming it, and it was quite hype. She shot the ball. It was going towards the net, and I was like, what? And then it went in. So I was just like, yo, wait a minute. That did not just happen. But it you did. Know? But it did. OK. OK, Connor's feeling a bit down in the dumps today, but you know what will get him going? More winning, because we just keep winning. This weekend, last weekend, at district competition, the cross-country teams, both of them, both teams, Connor, both of them dominated. How's that? What was the score? The score? I don't think you know how this works. No, I don't. The boys' team got first place. And you want to know how many boys were in the top 30? In how the many? words of NBA legend LeBron James, not two. Not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven. We dominated there. But on the other side, runner-up at the district competition, the girls team, they dominated too. And you want to know how many of them were in the top 30? How many? Same thing in the words of LeBron James. Not two, not three, not four, not five. And we're going to keep going from there because you already know we just keep winning. And our teams are going to keep winning cross country. They have regionals this week, returning to the place that was underwater last time they competed. So hopefully the course is in better condition this time. But this week, what do we have on Friday, Connor? On Friday, we have boys versus girls soccer game at West Shore. The tickets should be $2. Uh, it's just uh, almost like a fundraiser. It'll be fun. Go if you're not doing anything. And uh, if you're not doing anything. If you want to see a uh, pretty good game, probably uh, Friday. Be there 6 o'clock. Okay, Connor. Friday, 6 o'clock, boys versus girls. They got Cooper playing on the other team. Yeah. So there the will be team. no goals scored by the boys team, and I'm holding Cooper to that. I will bet money. No, I won't because I don't feel like losing money 
should the yeah, inevitable you, happen. You'll definitely lose money. You know, I'm just saying that because I like raising intensity. I don't know. Happiness? I don't know what the word is for it, but it's all good. And that just about does it for us this week. If you want to see more, if you want to see us talk more stuff outside of school, go to westshorerore.com. And this time, we will have PTI for you there. This has been Sean Humphrey. And Connor Horn. And we like Joe. Sports. Sports. Stay tuned for the second edition of WCTZ Blooper Reel. <laughs> <laughs>